I am in the historic city of Jodhpur and I am joined by noted academician and the director of IIT Jodhpur professor Santanu Chaudhary We will talk about the innovations that are happening at IIT Jodhpur and the technological world and the changes that are happening in it What has been the focus of this institute during your tenure as the director I wanted that this IIT should move in the direction based on its strength along the trend and where the technology projection is with reference to industry with reference to even the core science so from those perspectives i think uh, this institute has made very good progress if you talk to the faculty you will find that there are uh, very interesting results very positive results which has been picked up by the industry which has been uh, picked up by the national agencies and as a consequence of that see instead of going into specifics i would say as a consequence of that you can say that this is one of the iits which got this i hub drishti which is a a major project of uh, under national mission of cyber physical system we were chosen also the coordinate jodhpur city knowledge and innovation cluster which is among the one of the six city clusters and in fact jodhpur is possibly one of those only the uh, second tier city which did not have possibly a very old institutes okay uh, then also uh, see drdo is setting up in fact it has set up in fact everything all formalities have been completed as a drdo industry academia center of excellence in specific areas so these are very clear indicator of the fact that iit jodhpur has made impact in its research endeavor in different areas in fact ai uh, in terms of industry 4.0 quantum computing in biological research in terms of development of uh, processes by which you can detect uh, different uh, infections you can talk in terms of better diagnostics uh, in terms of our collaboration with aims we have started a new program of medical technologies out of which there are at least three groups who have moved into incubation there has been at least five such projects which byrac has decided to fund to translate to make it into a product we already have the incubator has an company which has generated a product based on research at iit jodhpur therefore i think in 3 years these achievements are remarkable and therefore uh, as i have already stated that the supporting agencies have identified iit jodhpur for launching variety of programs therefore its future is also uh, very bright and it can make and it's making definitely an impact across the country so what are the areas that iit jodhpur is aiming to excel see iit jodhpur is already i think excelling in ai and ai applications because i think in terms of even if you look at ai related international rating it's very high uh another area where lots of work is happening in the in the space of biosciences i think we have got very highly cited papers in biosciences if you look at uh, the area of mechanical engineering in fact industry 4.0 related work is happening as well as robotics in fact it is one only possibly only center where really a major project on space robotics is happening uh then if you look at materials material science has come up with a powder based 3d printing technology so which is a breakthrough because in terms of in the indian uh know how space that's a definite and specific contribution so this the, now let's look at a younger department which has been formed in 3 years back chemical engineering chemical engineering has now working with iol for their heat exchanger where AI and ML is being used in actual practical applications security cyber security and cyber physical security cyber physical security is hardly being addressed across and we already have a center supported by ministry of IT in the area of cyber physical security in terms of water technology sustainability of drinking water is a global challenge yes. and we are working on it and as a recognition of that even jal shakti ministry has set up a center 
and it also has is funding a chair professor position and we are addressing uh, the problem with technology which goes to common man in fact in 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 this in rajasthan uh, we are providing a water filter in the schools with a completely new technology so therefore we are we are conscious con conscious about sustainability we conscious about industrial growth we are conscious about ai and ai applications we are working on quantum which is actually leading to next generation computing so these in a sense you can consider a focus areas in which we are looking at another area of ai we have worked on and this institute has worked majorly is ai applications in medical sciences in a uh, in number of areas where the radiological images to be analyzed uh, eye images to be analyzed even we are working on a major problem of trauma analysis using radiological images we are working on a local problem of silicosis diagnosis using radiological images all are ai based applications so ai this is a, these are the two major areas of ai contribution i think is very very significant and very distinct from across the country in quantum our work has been primarily in the open quantum systems and in terms of building up the basic theoretical foundations and another thing that that we have looked at is coming from the optical pathway how to develop quantum technologies including quantum communication so these are these are these in terms of in quantum is an area and we are also collaborating with the industry in fact we are also running uh, courses in quantum machine learning and so we think that quantum is another area which will develop very in a very major way i have also heard about some project that iit uh, jodhpur is working to address some challenging because particularly the iit jodhpur is uh, situated in an area which is arid which has some unique problems like water scarcity there are different problems of arid region one is water the drinking water the drinking water has a different problem from that of the problem of agriculture in this region okay so therefore first of all is we are working on water conservation that's a very fundamental point that we would like the water not to be wasted so there is a waste water and going waste we do not want we want complete uh, a zero wastage cycle of water usages and targeted water usage because see water and energy are linked if i want all water to be perfectly purified to be used for all purposes then the energy budget goes on substantially the sustainability is both energy sustainability as well as water sustainability so we are working on a kind of a smart water management system so that we produce water of that quality what is needed for that purpose and accordingly create a supply system so that all see we have water which is black water gray water and how they can be converted at various stages that where gray water can serve the purpose black water can it be converted to gray and from gray can i convert into the water which can be used for washing purposes and then can i convert that water to the level which can be used for drinking and can i create a water management system which can ensure that different types of water are being used for different specific purposes and this is where iot ai water technology everything comes together sir you also talked about a drdo center that is coming up at iit jodhpur what kind of systems and defense equipment the institute and the drdo would be making at the center and our focus one is desert warfare because desert is a different system altogether and there are huge challenges in terms of uh, in in terms of deployment of arms and ammunition in high temperature in terms of navigation in the desert environment in terms of source of water in this desert environment in terms of working with uh, these sand dune movement the local geo, geo geophysics of this local space so all of these are the problems which are of interest to the to the defense because this navigability of the space that has to be actually analyzed understood simulated so that it can be predicted so desert warfare is a something which is very very unique and iit jodhpur is very uniquely situated to work on desert warfare with defense lab jodhpur so that's one of the areas we are we shall be focusing on second area we shall be focusing on uh, intelligent omni mobility 
because omni mobility is essentially not just drone but but making this kind of autonomous vehicles which can move under water on on land as well as fly and may have all the three capabilities all maybe in one, any one of the two and so on and so forth so that's another area this center would look at obviously defense has a huge requirement of such such systems third thing is actually there is war gaming and an information uh, there see today this whole defense systems is also based on what is information in a public forum which information goes into public forum and where actually people that that army and others they actually play the game to learn how to handle uh, real war as well as these supplementary these war related things okay and to get trained and maybe and also in future have those systems to build strategies so these are some these that is a third area where we shall be working on where actually we shall really make use of our ai and those uh, these graphics and ar vr strength everything together to develop products for our defense uh, uh, agencies so on the front of mpvs vehicles that we are talking about for warfare so on which stage we are currently it's it said if you say this is at a trl 2 types okay there are there are systems there are it's not that there are trl 3 systems are also there but trl 2 3 because it depends on see there are vehicles which can get into the water from here but they can taking off again from the water and if it's taking off the water can it move on the land so those are all more in a conceptual basis and not really uh, in 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 field